What's up? Good morning, YouTube. Um, so today I'm gonna change my oil, uh, oil life here at 30% uh, left. Uh, 14, 942 miles on the car. So today we're gonna do the oil change and I'm also sending the oil for analysis. And I'm gonna try to see if I can um, get into the filter, the oil filter and see um, you know, if you have anything in there. Um, I'm driving to the Honda dealer right now to get the oil filter and get some oil and uh, we'll get this oil changed. I'm on the highway and I got heat. Yeah, heat coming. It's only uh, about 56 degrees out there. It's not shady at all. All right, guys, I just got the filter. So this is a part number 15400-PLM-A02. There's an A01, but this superseded uh, that one. It actually comes with the, the drain plug washer, so and here's how much it cost the washer and the filter both together 863 so pretty good price for a filter all right this is the new service center so anyways last time i came here i asked them give me a give me a sample of the oil and uh they wouldn't do it so that's why i have to do my own oil change this time i tried uh, i think on the previous video i uh, told you guys i'm gonna be taking the oil out of the dipstick hole but that didn't really work out so figured I'll just do the oil change um, and I'll you know record it whole thing on the video so we'll have proof that I did the oil change too and people you know you guys get to see how oil change is done on a CRV if you wanted to do it yourself all right all right as you see here I have a B1 next to my oil life so I'll print it off from Honda's page here so the maintenance items so if it has a B, replace engine oil and filter. So 1.5 liter engine, turbo engine has 3.7 uh, use quart quantity. So that's the capacity. So this is the list of inspections that you have to do along with it. Front and rear brakes, brakes um, tie rod, steering gearbox, gearbox boots, suspension components, drive shaft, brake holes, lines including VSA line and all the fluid levels um, coolant, CVT I don't have a all wheel drive so I don't need to look at the rear differential fluid brake fluid windshield inspect the exhaust, fuel lines connection so there's also a one next to it and that's pretty much uh, rotate tires and check uh, tire inflation so that gives you the pattern and the owner's manual. So let's get started with the oil change. I'm going to be using a Rhino ramps. Here's your load capacity, center range, 3,000 pounds each, 6,000 pounds per pair, or pretty much your vehicle weight, 12,000 pounds it can hold. So there's that. And here's what I made to pull the oil out of the dipstick, but that didn't really work out. There's the oil filter. Uh, send the oil for the analysis. Here's a mobile one full of synthetic oil. Got jack stands. Alright, once you come under, you have to take this piece off, which is held on by a bunch of screws. So. I'll take all this off. So the front two are Phillips head and these are you just use a flat head, twist it and it just falls off. Once you remove the panel and you have access to your drain plug right here. Also your oil filter. And while you're here, you can kind of inspect your uh, exhaust components and all of the boots and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and take the drain plug off. So I got my little three ounce. Uh, this is what I'm gonna be sending to uh, for the oil analysis. 
I'm gonna keep that here. Got my drain pan ready, 17 millimeter bolt to take off the, the drain plug. So the instructions tells you to not get the initial fluid. Just wait a couple of seconds and get it. So you see the, gotta replace this O-ring also. Let some fluid go, then I'm gonna get some. All right, so fill this up, gotta clean this up and uh, put the cap on it. I'm gonna go ahead and let it drain the rest of the way, we'll take the filter off. You yeah, can straight up smell gas right now. Smells like gas, pretty much. I'm gonna take the filter off. I use this uh, universal tool, kind of grips the filter, and you can take it off easy. So I took off the old washer. We're gonna put the new one that came with the filter. I got the new washer. Go ahead and clean this whole area up. I'm gonna put uh, some new oil around the O ring right here and we'll put the filter back on too. put the oil up top now so what we need is 3.7 quarts so I'm gonna this side is a quart so we got one two three I'm gonna put a mark when it's half I'm gonna put 3.5 and uh, fill in the rest later Uh, 3.5 all right so all the oils all filled up I'm just gonna start the car and go down under the car just to make sure there's no leaks and put everything back together of course make sure your parking brake is on so to reset this oil life you have to go into your settings vehicle 
scroll down to maintenance oil and filter tire rotation oil left 30 percent select reset items uh, so this is all the things that are due well we do oil and filter reset okay and it goes back to 100 percent i'm gonna turn it off go under the car just make sure there's no, yeah, there's no leak so just slide the panel back in I just gotta put all the screws back on. So here's the info about the oil analysis. Cost $28. Um, I actually reached out to uh, Blackstone and they're actually sponsoring this video. So uh, if you guys wanna get your oil analysis done, uh, I mean, pretty much you go to their website and order one of these kits. Um, they'll send it to you, fill it up with oil and uh, put it in here and send it to them. And they'll send you a analysis report. So. That's how that is. Yes, so if you ever wondered what the inside of the filter looks like, I cut it open. There's the actual pleats of the inside of the filter. So you can see here, pretty dirty. Nothing crazy in front of the, between the pleats, but this is a little cardboard looking part right here. Here's a bypass. So this is how the inside looks. The filter I just took off. Pretty bad condition. easily tear this all right this is going in the trash all right the car's been sitting here for a minute after the oil change so i'm gonna clean everything up and see how it looks So clean, I'll put it in. Alright. Really hard to tell because it's a new oil, but looks like it's right on the dot where the high should be. I only put in about 3.6 maybe. So, and I'll go ahead and go with the oil analysis and uh, once I get the results and I'll update you guys. Thanks for watching. All right guys, so I just finished up with everything. Um, everything looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and send the oil for analysis. Once I get the results back, I'll post another video with the updates. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please like, uh, subscribe. And I'll post the results soon, so let me know what you guys think. Alright, bye bye Blackstone.